Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away. And today, we're going to be doing the next stage, which is pack 8 of the Agora Models release, a build the Porsche 917KH. Now as you can see, this is really coming along here at the moment, and in the last stage, we actually started to do the bulkhead or the firewall here. Uh, we're going to be uh, increasing a lot of the details on that today. We're also going to be putting the seats in and we have got some other details as well just for the interior of the car. Now if you want to get this for yourself just head over to the Agora Models website. You can get this all the way from pack one. You can get yourself to the stage that I'm at at the moment. But without further ado, let's get cracking. So as I mentioned at the start, we are going to be doing a lot to do with that firewall or bulkhead today. Uh, and in this stage, we're actually putting the seat belts on. Get these out. And we have the plexiglass, which is going in the, in the middle there. Now, basically, we want the other side of this bulkhead here because the plexiglass is going to go in here. As you can see, we do have some little uh, lugs, just six of them, I think it is, just going to be pushed into these holes here. So get that lined up and push that in. It will be strong enough to hold itself once it's all the way in, so it looks like that. We can put that to one side because we're going to create the belts now. So the easiest way to do this is just to make a fold in the top like that. Don't worry about the fold line, that will eventually work itself free. Grab a buckle and then put one side up here and thread it through just like that and then bring it down the other side. Tweezers probably help you here. Just like that. And that's that buckle on. Then you just position it where you want it on the belt. So I'm going to have it around about there. But as you can see, simple as that to put that on. We're going to do exactly the same on the other belt. So once again, just fold it in half there. Grab the buckle. Put both ends through one side here, just like that, and then bring it down the other side. And that's perfect. So that's two of those done. Now we, on this side here, we've got some other buckles to put on. These buckles have a small hole in them, as you can see there. Now a lot easier to put these ones on. It's just a single fit, so we're going to go up one side like this here. And then just down the other side. So it should be pointing down away from the uh, writing there. But that's one belt done. Again, do the same on the other side. And there we go. There's both belts completed. So I'm just going to slide them up a little bit there. Because the last bit to put on is the buckles that are going on the end here. Now they're going to go on the end just like this here actually around that way just bring it back to around about there because we've got a little tiny sticky pad to put on now just going to get this off get my uh, tweezers to help me here and this is just going to go into the position there take the backing off and fold over the belt just like that and there we go. That is a finished belt with a buckle on the end. Just do exactly the same on the other side. So then the last thing to do is to take these little brackets here, thread them through the loop that we've created at the top, like that. Then these are going to be going into position onto the bulkhead firewall here, just into the holes at the top, like that. Make sure they're pushed all the way in. So that's one in. Do the same on the other one. When you push it in, push it in at the, these sides here, not in the middle, because you don't want that to break. Then that one's in as well. And that is all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage 56 here, building and attaching the cabin bulkhead, there's absolutely loads to do. In fact, this is probably one of the hardest things to do in this build, because we are 
using lots of thin wires to make cables and really fine detail here. So uh, probably best to make yourself a cup of coffee and sit back because this stage is going to take a little bit of time. <laughs> okay. First thing I want to do is I want to unravel all these cables. So we've got a red cable here. Make it straight just by putting it out like that. Then we've got a yellow one. I've got this sort of grey, silvery colour one. Quite a long cable, that one. Then I've got this other grey one, which is more wire type material. This is more tube. This is more like wire. I've got this black cable. Again, this is more like tube. I've got this red cable, which again is more like tube. I've got this smaller blue cable here. Looking like that. And I've got this smaller, oh, I don't know what colour this is. <laughs> I think it's brown. It could be brown. I don't know. <laughs> so what I want to do is take these five wires here, which are brown, red, yellow, grey and blue. And cut off 3.5 centimetres. Now each one of these squares is three and a half centimetres. So just cut it there and put that to one side. So we've got one, two and just continue doing all the others. So we want to just bring the bulkhead over now and we've got a cable box here looking like that which is going to be going into the holes just here on this side. So this is going to be going, get this in, one and two and push that into place. Just like that. Now the wires we just cut, we're going to batch them up into a bunch. Very fiddly, so you can understand if you are building this, take your time on this because this is going to take a while. But there we go, all batched up. And I'm going to be pushing them through the holes at the back here so they're coming up above this cable box here. So it's not the two at the very top there. It's the two just underneath. So if I get one lot in, and you'll see how this is. Definitely going to need my magnifying glasses for this. I have twisted the ends to help get that in. And there we go, they're all in there. Now I'm going to just pull through. So it's half and half each side. Because I'm going to need that gear for there for when I actually put these into the fuse box. I'm folding them down. Because I've got to do exactly the same thing just on the hole next to it. There's always one. I can always get four through at one time. <laughs> can never get the fifth one through. So what I do is I try and find a space in here. And then gently take the end. And hold my tweezers right close to the end of the one I can't get in. Like that. And then just push that through. And there you go. So I've batched them all together now. So that half and half through just like that. Now what we're going to be doing is slotting the wires into the top of these cable feeds just here and they're going to go blue, yellow, white, uh, brown and red and then on the other side it's going to go blue, yellow, white, orange and red. So when I put these in I'm just going to see how they hold but you probably are going to use a little bit of glue. So I've got one in there but I think what I'm going to do to hold them in place now the glue I'm going to use is a CA glue here, but this is a really thin CA glue. So when I apply this, it's actually just going to run into that section. So I'm applying it with a little cocktail stick here. And there we go, that's the red one in. And then we just continue on. The next one to do is the brown one. And when they're in, they should look just like that. I'm going to do exactly the same on the other side. And when you've tidied it up, it should look just like that. It took a while, but definitely the way to go is the really thin CA glue, not the normal stuff. Now to hide the tops of those wires, we have a couple of little um, uh, relays to put in, which look just like this. They're just going to go into the holes that we got just at the top there. And they are just a push in. So I'll get these pushed in, and I'm sure you'll agree, <laughs> they've come out really good. I've got another junction box now, just to go next to this, 
on this section just here. So push that one in like that. And again, we wanna cut this cable, these cables into three and a half centimeters. Now, red ones, we need uh, one, two, three of these. So one, two, and three. There you go. Yellow ones, we need two. White one, we need two, or the gray one, should I say, we need two. One, and two. And then just this black cable here. We just need one of those. So it should be eight in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right. And again, batch these up just like that. And then we're going to insert them into this black sheaf here. Now I'm pushing it in so that they all come out like that there. And I want to insert this whole thing into the hole just above the cable box that we've just put in. What I am going to do first is I'm just going to drop some of this liquid CA glue just into the top here because I don't want these wires coming out. Now to get this in what you should do is get some tweezers push it really hard in the middle which will enable you to fold that over and then keep it there for a second to let the heat just keep that shape like that. And then you should be able to push it through this hole. Just like that, you see? And then push that all the way through. So that it's going to fit quite flush on the other side here. We've only got a, probably about a millimetre showing. So I'm going to actually cut these to length rather than uh, cut them from the back there. So the way these are going to go are red, red, grey, yellow. Black, red, grey, yellow. That's the order they're going to go into. So exactly the same way. I'm going to put these in, show you what that looks like. There you go. Pretty tricky. But as you can see, they're all in there as well. All we have to do then is just cut off the excess from the backs here. Just using sprue cutters. So one, two, and this one here is three. Now we've got the regulator housing, which looks like that. The way this is going is this section here goes through there. So you can see the lugs just on the other side. Turning this over here, this is actually going to go onto these points just here. So it's going to go on kind of like that. So put the bottom one on first just to make sure it's lined up. Actually, it goes on the other way. So it should fit at an angle in there. And then this top piece is just going to go over the top like this. On the belt side here, I've got two ignition coils to put in, and they look just like this. They're going into these little D-shaped holes here. So that's one and two. So they've clipped in perfect. And now I need to cut down some of this tubing wire that we had. I need 30 mils, so three centimeters. I need 95 mils. Three, six, nine, that's nine and a half centimetres. And I need a 22 mil. Tiny one. There you go. And of the red, I just need two 30 mils. So one. And then two. So what I want to do is take the two red tubes and the two smallest black tubes and batch them together just like this. This is going to be going into the hole just above those coils that we put in. So it's going to go into the hole there. Get them all in. It's going to be a tight fit. But again, if you've got one that just doesn't want to go in, just use your tweezers and hold it near the base and you can push that in like that. Now these are going to go onto the plugs on top of the coils here. So we have a black one, then a red one, then a red one, then a black one. So I'll put them in now. And there we go. They're in just like that. Once again, we can cut off the excess just on this side. And then we should have had two leads left, which were 95 centimeters. I only cut one, I need two, which I've got here. They're gonna be coming out of the holes next to these ones that we put here. So one in this side, one in the other side, just like that. Pull them through. So they're coming out of the uh, 
bulkhead from this side now. Then I've got a branch connector to put on, which looks like that there. That's going between the belts. So that's just going into the hole that we can see just there. Get this one in. Make sure that fits flush down there. The little 22 millimeter black leader hat's gonna go on the end here, like that. Then the last leads I need is this gray tube one we had here. We need 250 mils and two of that, so 25 centimeters. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. There we go, so we've got two lengths of that because the other end's gonna be the same length as well. And they're gonna go either side of that branch connector that I've just put in. So I am gonna put a little bit of glue on this, I think. Let me just see how tight it fits. Oh no, actually, it's really tight on there, so I don't need any glue. I will actually need my uh, tweezers to help get that on. So that's one side in, do the other side. And there we go, that's the other side in as well. Now, these leads here need to just pass through these holes that we've got at the bottom. So this one's gonna go through that hole there and pull that through. Get the kink out. There you go. And then the other one, just going through the other side here. And pull that one through. So showing you how it's looking at the moment, that's what it looks like from one side. And that's what it looks like from the other side. Now we're gonna put this into the car. So let's bring that over. Now before I put it in, these two leads that we've got here, the long leads coming from the back, are gonna be going into the two plugs that we have left into the distributor just there. So I'm gonna get these in, get me magnifying glasses out. They've got it going under this middle bar here underneath that bar and I push these in it might help just to put your tweezers in here just to open the ends out a little bit because the uh, the hole is quite uh, large <laughs> for it to go in and there we go that's those two in now these two we're going to be passing under the same thing here but pulling that through just to come out the sides for now. So one there and one on this side over here. And then I can pull this together so that all of these are nice and taut to where they need to be. Pulling these black wires through here as well so there's no loose wires anywhere. And I'm just having a check of that. That looks absolutely brilliant. So that's where the bulkhead's going to be going. Now the other end of these black wires that you can probably see here are just going to go into the center points of the ignition coils. And I don't know if you can see that, but uh, there's the coils there. Let's move one of these belts. And they're all in place like that. I've got a fire extinguisher here that just clips together. So line that up and push that in. That's going into the two holes that we can just see down here. But before I put that in, I do want to secure this down with some BM screws. And that will keep this bulkhead in place. So that's one. Now before I plug this fire extinguisher into the holes, I'm just going to take the lead that's coming down there and just plug that into one end of the fire extinguisher. And then plug this into the bulkhead just like that. <laughs> Excellent. Now if I move these belts, just throw them over, you can see just onto the side camera there, that's how that looks. And that's all there is to do in that issue. Now I've got me uh, glasses on here. Just so you know, that stage, I said issue, stage. That stage took one hour, 15 minutes, just for one stage. Wow, let's move on to the next stage. I'd like to move on to the next stage. <laughs> I'd love to, but we can't because they just want me to run this cable here down towards the back of the uh, car here. So what I'm going to do 
These are the fire extinguisher ones. I'm just going to put them where they come out along the tops here. I'll do this side as well. Just like that. And I'm going to basically train them down these bars at the top using the stickers that they gave us there. So I'll do that now and I'll show you what that looks like. I think I'm going to leave it as that. As long as it's going down here and it's at the back, ready to connect these two parts up, I'm happy. But that, this time, is definitely all there is to do in that stage. That was one hour, 20 minutes that stage took. In stage 57 here, we're going to be doing the uh, right velocity stack panel. Again, we've got some more tubes here. Let's get all these out. Put that all to one side. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to be taking these intake nozzles out, which are all on a sprue, and I'm going to need to cut these from the sprue here. Bring over the velocity stack panel, and these are basically just going to be going into this section here, facing in this direction over here. So I'll put these in. and it will give you an example of how they look. Do that all the way along. You're gonna love the magic of editing. There you go, they're all in. So we're now gonna be doing these fuel lines. We need to cut these into different lengths. So the first one's gonna be 125 millimeters, which is basically 12 and a half centimeters. And I need three of these. So let's do those ones first. That's one, two, M3. And these are going to be going through the hole that we can just see offset in there. So I'll push one through there. And then the top of it is going to go onto that little nozzle that we just put in. So I've got my uh, tweezers here lined up and put this through. Pretty impossible not to get a kink in there, unfortunately, but it gives the idea this is all going to be covered up anyway afterwards. Move along and do the next ones. So we've got two more of these to do. So that's three of those in. Now we're going to be doing 135 mils. This one's going to be 155 mils, and the last one's going to be 160 mils. So I cut them in and I'll put them in as well. And there we go, that's all those fuel lines in place. Bring the car over. And I need to remove this cross beam here. Keep the screws safe. Now this panel is going to be going on the right hand side of the engine just like that here. So what I want to do, turn the car around so I can see it, is take the first three leads here and they're actually going to be ending up over at these points over here. But I want to trace them through the holders that we've got into the side of this section just here. So this is going to be a bit tricky, but I'm going to get these in and show you what it looks like. So as you can see, I've got those three in there. I've just put this just above these flutes before so I can put these other three fuel lines, which are going to go into the three next to it. Just like that and then once again we want to trowel these through these holding points at the back here so i thought it's probably best to get my phone out to show you that so they're in that side and then they're all going into the injectors there i know what you're going to say you're going to say that they're all kinked there's no way fuel is going to get in there but <laughs> there's no fuel in this model so uh it is what it is now before we actually attach that we want to put back the bar that we took out re previously then we can push this down over the trumpets, just like that. We've got these caps to put on. That's going to lock them into place. So one, two, and keep going along doing all of these. And then locking them into position with these tops, which go over here, push them down, and that's going to keep that into place and there you go that's all done yes that one took me 45 minutes just to do one side this pack is taking ages but uh i want you to uh, uh prepare yourself for what you have in store if you are building this
So stage 58, we're doing exactly the same thing on the other side. So once again, I'll whiz for it this time. I'm gonna take out these little nozzles and I will put these into place. These, just so you know, are to tidy all the wires up if you need to afterwards. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna use them or not. Now this time I'm gonna cut the lines. They're slightly different, they're a lot smaller now. So I need a 45 mil, and that's gonna be going onto this end here. Once again, just hook that over the little nozzle. I said nozzle then, I normally say nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be a video without me saying that word, can it? Okay, 55 mil is the next one along. And again, I'll get this into place here. Then 65 mil. I'm still using what I had left over from the last stage. Then 85 mil. Almost there, we need 100 mil, 10 centimeters. And then 115 mil, so 15 centimeters. So there you go, they're all done there. Okay, now this is gonna be going in this way here. So I'm gonna plug all of these leads in now to where they go on the injectors. This is probably gonna be the only time you see this. You're gonna to have to uh, take my word that they are all plugged into these. <laughs> One's just popped out. Okay, let's get that back in. And there you go. That's been pushed in on that side. And once again, we can just put these little caps on. As I said, I didn't use the wire tidy for this because it is actually all hidden under there. You're not actually ever going to see it. And it just speeds up this stage. Get these all in. And then just like the last time, I'm going to put the caps over the top. And when they're both in, they should look just like that. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now this is where you're going to think, oh my God. Because we've just spent, I'm just looking at my clock, exactly two hours in unedited time doing what you've just seen there. And we're about to cover everything up. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> okay, so bring the car over and we're going to be putting this cover here just over the whole section in the middle, just like this here. Just going to line it up. There you go. And it's held in with size L screws. Five screws in total. So we've got one at this side over here two on this side and then two at the back. So last screw just about to go in here. Excellent. So we've now covered up all the distributors that we did. <laughs> These are labeled left and right. So this is the right side of the engine. So this one's gonna be going on next. That's just gonna fit over there like that, covering everything there up. <laughs> and again, just some of these LP screws to put that in. It's only two on them, so this side. But on the other side, which is this one here, this is just going to go over the top like that. And I've got two to put in this side as well. There we go. They're all done. All of that two hours work has now been covered up. <laughs> okay, that's all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 60 here, we're gonna be attaching the battery and the gear lever. Let's get all this out. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make the battery. So I need the base of the battery here and the top. And quite simply, this is just gonna go in just like that. It actually holds itself, which is good. We've got some terminals to put on top. The terminals are in this little bag here and they have got a located lug on the bottom of them to help line up which way they actually go, just like that. But they are held in with an LP screw. Now these are the screws that we uh, just used last time to uh, put those engine covers in. So put these in, that's gonna hold that into place. Now I've got two lengths of cable here. 
get that out. Now the longer one is going to go onto this side here. So I'm just going to push that onto the terminal all the way like that. And the shorter one on the other side here. We've got the battery top to put on. This again just clips in over the top of that. So it looks like that. I've got a bracket to put on, which is going to go round the whole of the battery section here. And there you go. That's the little bracket on. So it looks like that from underneath. Bring the car over. I'm going to put the belts just behind there. Because this is just going to fit in just here like this. Now there has got some little pegs in there and it's just going to push down. Now the cables from that battery are going to go underneath the uh, box just here. Uh, pretty much impossible to show you, but I'll get them in and try my best. <laughs> and there you go. That's the battery. And there is actually two pins under there that they clips into. Now I've got the gear changer and a pipe. This pipe's just going to go on the end of that here, just like that. I'm going to pass this through the hole that we got just above the fire extinguisher there. And I'm going to push that all the way down to the back of the engine. It's going to eventually go to the transmission. And then the other side is going to be clipping in to this point just here. Now, again, very hard to show you, but there's a silver little lead here, which we're going to be attaching the other end of that pipe to. So I'm going to put it on just like this. And then I'm going to show you on my phone what that looks like. There we go. So basically it comes from there through the hole, down the engine, into this little silver thing, just there. There's a little nipple at the bottom there. And that is all there is to do in that stage. In stage 61, we're gonna be fitting the driver's seat. So I've got that here, get all of this out. So first thing I do is I'm going to take the seat belt here, just post that through like this. So it comes out the other side. Excellent. There you go. And then on the other side here, that's just going to hook behind this little lug like that. Pull that down tight. Whoops. Don't want it to come out though. And then I'm going to be putting some tape just around these two sections here to keep that into place. Now in the hole that we've got in this buckle here, we've got the top to go on to actually make the buckle. So now that looks just like that. Just pulling this through. Then I've got the back of the seat to put on. So it's just these two parts here going together like this. And that's gonna be held in with some AP screws. Then one just here. Then I've got the belt that's going to go round the middle there. So that's going to sit kind of like that there. And again, I just need to get some adhesive and put that into place. The seat adjustment lever is just going into the hole that we've got on the side. So that's just going to be pushed in to this position here. And the instructions don't tell you to do this, but I'm going to do it going to take some masking tape and just keep the belts at the side here down like this and this is going to train them to go round the seat like that so you can understand how the belt's going to work now and we're going to put this into the car so we're just going to be matching up these two holes here and here with the two holes there so get these lined up perfect and that's going to fit in just like that. Now I'm going to hold that in from the underside once again with AP screws. So the easy way to do that is just put the car on the side and then screw it in. So pretty happy with how that is. As I said, I have just put masking tape in. They want us just to arrange the belts and put them together. I'm just going to keep them just like that for now. That gives you an idea of how it is, but that's all there is to do in that stage. Now stage 62, we're doing a passenger seat. 
From what I understand, it needed to have a passenger seat to qualify as a sports car. But as you can see, there's no belts on this seat. So it is what it is. And quite simply, we're just going to push both of these parts together. Once again, we've got some AP screws here. Just to screw that to this detail here. So one at the top. Excellent. And one just underneath. Bring the car over. And once again, this is just going to go into the point next to that. The longer section facing down here. And once again, I'll screw it in while the car is on its side. And there you go. That's the passenger seat in, and that's all there is to do in that stage. So I've got everything we need here for this pack. And the first thing I'm gonna do, lovely uh, flopped material on top of this dashboard again. I do like that. Take this detail here. Again, I apologize for not knowing exactly what these things are called, but that's just gonna go into the hole just here. Make sure it's pushed all the way down. So there's no chance of that coming out there. And then we're gonna be putting some decals on this side here. Now they've sent me two. I'm guessing just in case I make a mistake. So you never know with these, how exactly they are. If they're just individual ones or if you do need to cut around them. I am leaving a little tiny border around them and I'll put these on show you what that looks like and I think that's a job well done that's all the decals in place now in this bag here I've got a little push-in button which I'm just going to get a sprue cut to cut off tiny thing this is it's going to go into this hole just at the end there so I'm going to push this in without disturbing any of those decals And there we go, that's it all the way. Which means the last thing to put in, we've got a key here, very tiny this is. They gave us two, so we've got one spare, but look, check how tiny that is. That's just gonna go into the front of the thing that we just put in. Now I'm guessing we're gonna need to put a bit of glue in there. I will check. It actually fits in and holds itself quite well in there. So uh, I'll probably put a touch of glue, but that is all there is to do in that stage. So what we need to do is detach the white, the blue, and the green from the side of the car. So what you wanna do is you wanna get these switches, just pull these metal wires forward like that. Slide the switch in this way, So it fits all the way through and comes out the bottom here. And then we just want to fold over these metal tabs to stop this coming out. So it's the blue one that I've done first. As you can see, they've sat in like that. And then from the other side, they've wrapped around like that. We're gonna do the same with the green and the white one. Use all tools at your disposal for that to ensure that they're flat. I think we're good. Excellent, just check all the switches are operational. One, two, three, we're good. We're then gonna start doing some of the instrument panel here, which looks like that. Put in the lens with the dials on. There you go, that's going in the back there. Then we're going to shut all of that off with the reflector, which is gonna go in this way here so that we got the dome facing out, which will eventually we're gonna be putting a uh, LED in there. To keep that in space though, we've got some AP screws to screw in. Zoomed up my camera just a little bit more because uh, we are working quite close here. That's one. And 
and that one's two. Now in stage 35, you did have this red and white cable with a single light on that may be plugged into your car. So I've just unplugged that. I'm gonna push that into this side of the dashboard all the way. So it looks like that. Then we're gonna be putting this whole thing into what we worked on in the last stage. So I'm being very careful not to knock anything. <laughs> and if you see, we've got some little tiny lugs at the bottom of that. They're just actually gonna plug into the dashboard here. So I'll get these in. Will mean bending the LED wire just a touch so we can get that into position. So it sits in like that. Very fiddly uh, stage this one is. Then we've got the shroud to put over the top of this. Putting that round into position there. And that's gonna be held in with AP screws from the underside. Yeah. Perfect. So just show you what that's looking like now. Excellent. Now we've got three little buttons to install, two small ones, one larger one. I'll put the larger one in first. They're actually going into the rear side and then pushed out through the front. So the bigger button is going into the middle hole. As you can see, it just hangs there, but that's in. And the two smaller ones go each side. And that's those three into position just there. They're very loose at the moment because we've got to put the switches behind them. So I'm just ensuring that there's no wires covering that hole there. And I'm going to drop the switches behind all of those that we've just put in. And it should fit flush in there. The easiest way is to actually slide it in. Don't put it in from the top, slide it in from the back. That's going to be held in once again with two AP screws. And now that's in position, so we just want to check that when we push these, one, two, three, that the switches operate there. Now I need my sprue cutters, because I'm going to cut off one of these silver buttons here. And that's going to go on the bottom where it says uh, Benzin P. And push that in. So that looks like that. And then we've got all of these cream colored buttons like this, and they're gonna go in every other hole. And when all of those are in, that should look like that. We've got one more little detail here, which again, we're gonna be putting some buttons in here. We've got two more of these silver ones, these small ones here. They're gonna go just on the bottom of this uh, detail, so. That one's one. Very detailed, isn't it? You want to make sure they go all the way through there. I've got this tiny black detail, which is in a pack of its own, which is going into the middle one just above it. So now that looks like that. And then we've just got a larger silver one. with a black sort of top, which is going just above that. I'll get this one in and there you go they're all in place turning this over this is actually just going to go on this section of the dashboard here it's going to sort of like follow the run of the dashboard around so it's going to go in kind of like that it's held in with an ap screw so just screw that all the way in so it's flush and there we go loads of detail work but that's is the dashboard completed. And that's all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. We do have some screws left over, so I'm gonna keep them safe. These are MP screws. And there you go, that was one hell of a pack. That took almost four hours to do that whole pack. And I think I've edited this down to about, I don't know, 45 minutes, something like that. Uh, as you can see, in the meantime, I've prepared for tonight's live stream or last night's live stream, actually, because this video is going up on Wednesday, uh, which is the Iron Man here. But I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.